In today's video uh, lesson, we're going to be going over how to use a walking stick for self-defense. In this lesson today, we're going to be talking about how to use a stick for self-defense. And we're not going to be doing all these flashy locking techniques or joint locking techniques or throwing techniques. And we're not going to be doing things like that. We're going to do things that are very basic, very fundamental, but they're going to be the things that you need to know so that you can protect yourself in a self-defense situation. Simply put, the stick is an impact weapon, right? So if I'm here and he grabs onto the wrist for some reason or another, and he, this stick is an impact weapon. It is a force multiplier. If I take this stick that I'm walking with and jam it into his throat, and I hit him as hard as I can here, that is a significant amount of damage. Do you think that this first option that I'm going to is going to be more effective than the second option that I'm going to? So option number one, he grabs the throat, and I do some fancy joint lock that he maybe wiggle out of and turn around and punch me, or he grabs me and I just jam this into his head as hard as I can, strike him into the groin or strike into his knee as hard as I can. I think the striking with a wooden stick to specific points is gonna be the most effective thing that you can do when you're using a walking stick for self-defense. So the real key points that you need to know is, what should I be hitting if I have a stick? When I talked about using a coupaton, I told you guys you want to strike points on the body to where the skin is really thin and it's close to the bone, right? Like this, the skin is really thin, it's close to the bone. Like that, if, if he grabbed onto my wrist and I took a stick and I hit him as hard as I can on the top of that, that would cause significant damage. So think about that. Now you apply that, just that bit of knowledge and apply that to your self-defense. Okay, well, if you just stand just like that. If I'm working my stick techniques, I could strike to the ankles. Those techniques would be great because, again, the skin is thin. I could strike into the knee, right, those knee techniques, right? I could go into the wrist, strike into the wrist if he was grabbing me. I could strike into the elbow. If he was grabbing me, I could use strike into the elbow. You could strike into the head, right, this way. You could strike into the temple or the jaw coming across this way. Those are all great striking points that you would use when you're using a stick for self-defense. Now, from a soft tissue perspective, there are a few points that are obvious. One is going to be the throat because that it's going to cause a significant amount of damage. And the second one is going to be the growing because that, again, is going to cause significant amount of damage. Now, to give you guys a little bit of an example, we'll just do a couple different ones and then you guys can see how you can use these strike points to your advantage. Comes in with a choke to the, like we just did, a choke. Well, we talked about the wrist. So imagine me taking this stick and I'm going to smack right in the wrist as hard as I can so that will knock his hand away and then I strike up this way right into the head. Can you imagine that technique? Go ahead. So one, two. And again, he grabs, strike, and then strike right up like that. If this was the case, I would just take this and just make him right eat it right underneath here. And I think it's the most effective thing. He grabs, just jam that right up as hard as you can. So this right here, let's just say there is something in his hand. It could be some sort of a tool, it could be some sort of a weapon, but he's stepping in with something in his hand that he's bringing this advance to you. Go and step back for me, thank you very much for Now, as he comes in with that, if I step off, I can strike into the wrist here, right? Comes in again. I can strike into the knee, again. I can strike into the groin, and again, I can strike into the head, right? And again, I can strike the hand, I can step away and strike, knocking that out. There's so many things that we can do. We can also go to the outside, excuse me, the outside of that strike, go ahead. And as I strike, it's strike this way, right? And again, I can strike into the knee. So again, using those same points, it gives me an advantage knowing where I'm supposed to strike when I have a stick. I do want to end with this little bit of knowledge here for you guys. So when you guys are practicing using a stick for self-defense. If you guys are going to practice using a walking stick for self-defense, make sure that you practice with something that's going to be the size of something that you would be using as a walking stick. Here, this is what's called a jo in Japanese martial arts. Some people prefer the hanbo, some people prefer the uh, rokushaku bow. If we're doing walking stick techniques, I like the jo because of my height and how I can grab it and use it. To me, I think weapons training is key, but um, if you guys are going to be practicing using you know, a walking stick for self-defense. A walking stick is a great tool that you can use for self-defense. Just make sure they're using something that it fits your body. It fits the way that you would stand. You practice working on various techniques, 
whether you're striking to the head, whether you're striking to the elbows, whether you're striking to the growing, the top, the ankles, the knees, you can work around your opponent, all these things, right? And a lot of other people with spinning techniques and strike this way, all these things. Make sure that when you're training, you have to train with the weapon. Don't just like, okay, I get it, work, hit them in the knees if I have a stick. Well, okay, a lot of people know that. But if you don't train with the weapon, you're not going to be efficient with the weapon. So make sure you train with it.